Welcome to Johnson State College and Bentley Science Hall. My name is Ryan Joy. I'm a graduating senior biology major. Um, if you want to come with me inside, we're going to go take a look at the newly renovated building and all the wonderful things we have to offer. Recently, Bentley has been totally renovated. We have all new labs, all new classrooms as well. We're very pleased with it. The students seem very pleased with it. So this is a chemistry laboratory. You'd have Chem 1, Chem 2, organic chemistry in here. Um, this is a Chem 2 class right now. They're working on titration. So we use this a lot for E. coli, um, to grow up E. coli in a short amount of time. It can be used for microbial work, um, lab culture station. Uh, raise this up, turn on. Down the hallway here, we have all the professor's offices. Class size at Johnson State College is small, and one of the advantages of that is getting to know your professors. This is where all the professors' offices are, and I've never been turned down when I approach a professor with a question. You can come to their office, talk to them while they're in their office hours, even stop by in between classes. I mean, it's just a really great resource because if you have questions, you can get answers all the time. This is one of the new common spaces that's available with the Bentley renovation. It's a great area to come and study, especially if you need to cram a little bit before a test. The JSC science program is research-driven, which I think is a new paradigm for science undergraduate wide across the state, across the nation. Right now, science here at the college is in a, in a very dynamic state. Faculty are actively engaged in a variety of research projects. Many of them focus around a common theme of the local watershed. Johnson has the most involved, enthusiastic faculty, especially with many research opportunities. Biological sciences, environmental sciences, and the health sciences, there are multiple areas, multiple research projects for students to become involved in. Well, we're a, a small department mm -hmm. of faculty that know each other very well and uh, work together very well, and we also get to know our students, uh, and they get to know us very well. The class size, I don't think I was in a class that was bigger than maybe 15 or 20 people, which was really nice. You get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with the professor, and there's a really tight community among, especially the sciences here. So this is the Environmental Toxicology Laboratory, my home away from home. Rack Streams Project, which looks to do microbial source species tracking in the Lamoille Valley River Basin. We're looking at sources of E. coli and phosphorus into streams of the Lamoille River. Kim collected water yesterday. We've got 19 sites in the Lamoille River Basin that she collected from. And so today we're taking those samples and running them through the AQ2. This is my pride and joy. This is the AQ2. My girlfriend says this is my second girlfriend just because I've spent so much time with it over the last year. So one of the big things at Johnson State College is professors getting students involved in research. As you saw in the environmental toxicology lab with the E. coli work, and we do have students involved. Dr. Genter has done a great job of getting students involved. And that was really my start to science as well, working on the Streams Project with them, which is a collaboration with St. Michael's UVM, Norwich University. University and other colleges to get students actually doing real-world research. It's the questions that scientists answer are how does nature work? So if you're interested in why things are the way they are, how they work, then you could become a scientist. Trial and error and doing it systematically is really the, the heart of science. Systematic trial and error and keeping notes. There we are. Pretty amazing. Just floating in space. <laughs> Everything that you know and love exists on this and it's basically rock in life. Okay, welcome to the Rock Lab at Johnson State College. Let me show you something over here. It takes mountains millions of years to erode, and here we're eroding these rocks in just about a week. Eventually, the whole thing will be polished smooth like this. Never touch your parents' table saw. Only touch a rock saw. This is how it works. We cut a chip so it fits on a glass slide. 30 microns thin, this rock. It started off as a mountain. It's now half as thick as human hair get the colors of the rainbow, the geometry of nature. It allows us to look at the texture and the mineralogy and therefore we can identify the rock. And These are quartz crystals and rhodochrosite. This is the green rock of the green mountains and hence the name of the state. Carbon dioxide in the arterial blood at rest is about 40 millimeters of mercury. Today this is anatomy and physiology we're going to do a bunch of pulmonary physiology demonstrations. We're gonna measure breathing today. And we have people exercise with this. They breathe air in this one, breathe air out this hose. So let's say this is a graph showing carbon dioxide in the arterial blood, P little a CO2 during resting breathing. One of the reasons why you might consider coming here is that we have our students doing research. They do faculty mentored student research projects that they 
present at conferences around the nation. They will learn the scientific process under the guidance of a scientist who is actually doing research. Johnson State College is where it all began for me, doing research and having internships and really finding a love for the sciences, chemistry, mathematics, biology, earth science, environmental science. Through all the great support I've received from Johnson State College, my next step in my scientific career will be to pursue a doctorate degree in molecular biology at the University of Vermont. That about wraps it up here at Bentley Science Hall and everything science at JSC. I have to run to go process some more samples, but hopefully we'll see you when you get here.